Okay, so we've seen how, again, very broadly speaking, resting membrane potentials are generated. Um, we have seen how cells become depolarized through uh, stimulus-gated and voltage-gated sodium channels. So now it's time to put in that last piece and talk about how the cell repolarizes. So let's go back and look at our players. So I'm going to put in a voltage-gated sodium channel here. So we'll put him right here, and he's all closed. Okay, these guys actually have two doors. I didn't draw two doors last time, but trust me, there are two doors there. And let's go ahead and fill that in. Oopsie. Oh my goodness, what have I done here? Okay, well you get the idea. Um, I'll just go over here and fill that in with ink. Awesome. So here is our voltage-gated sodium channel. So there's the voltmeter there. Okay. And now we need to add in a new friend. <laughs> we need to add in a voltage-gated potassium channel. Okay, so it's going to look something like this, and there it's closed, and we'll just go ahead and fill that in. Okay, so here's our voltage-gated potassium channel. So in the green, we have the sodium channel. Uh oh switch tools here. In the green, we have our sodium channels, and then in the blue, we have our potassium channels. So as you will recall, as sodium, as sodium is allowed into the cell through other sodium channels, our intracellular potential has risen. So here's minus 70, here's minus 59. So we started out at minus 70, we got to minus 59, and then we shot way up here, okay? So you'll recall this is depolarization, and depolarization is a function of sodium, okay? So as the sodium reaches our voltage-gated sodium channel here, we're going to see, um, I should have drawn this open already, but we're going to see this guy is should already be open. We're just going to ignore this deactivation gate. Don't worry about it. We're just going to pretend there's one gate on here. Again, I'm oversimplifying, but you'll still get the point. Okay, so this guy is going to open at minus 59. Okay, so at minus 59, here we go. More sodium comes rushing in, and the voltage is going to go up, 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 up till it reaches nearly um, positive 40 millivolts. So it's going to go way high. So we're going to go up until we're almost at plus 40. Okay. Now, on our way up, we're also going to see that the voltage-gated potassium channels are going to open up. So these guys are going to open up and they're going to let potassium come out of the cell. I don't know why I drew that in that direction. So let's just go back here and kind of erase all that. Okay, so remember that we started out with lots of potassium inside the cell. Okay, so we had lots of potassium in here and it's going to come rushing out when these potassium. So the sodium coming in is going to bring our charge up. The potassium rushing out is going to want to make it come down. At about plus 40 or so, these voltage-gated sodium channels are going to close. So this guy's going to close off here, and this is going to go away. And so now no more sodium can come into the cell. Potassium is still going to be rushing out, however, and so we're going to see that our intracellular potential is going to go way, 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 way down. Okay, so depolarization with sodium. This is repolarization which is a function of potassium. As the positive charges leave the cell, the intracellular voltage goes down. The inside of the cell becomes more negative. Eventually, when we get down here about minus 95 or so, these channels are going to close. So we'll draw that closed. Okay. And now no more sodium, no more potassium can leave the cell. No sodium is entering the cell. And then the sodium potassium pump, you remember that guy? I think we drew him originally in pink, is going to come and along with other factors like leak channels, which we're not going to talk about, are going to restabilize the internal temperature or the internal voltage at minus 70 millivolts. Okay, so that's the depolarization, repolarization cycle.